Hey, good morning. How's everybody doing today? Today is the 8th of February, Tuesday. Hey, we made it past Monday, 2022. God bless you today. I just want to say God is great. He's mighty. He's powerful. That Jesus Christ is Lord, the Messiah, the King, that we have the Holy Spirit of God, the same Spirit that rose Jesus from the dead, lives and abides in each and every one of us. That we are born again because of the work of the cross of Calvary, which Jesus did when he died and resurrected on the third day. He destroyed all the powers and principalities of darkness. He, he defeated Satan on the cross of Calvary. He made a public spectacle of Satan himself. So I put a great scripture for all of us, okay? It's Ephesians chapter 5, verses 3 and 4. Let me read it here. It says that, says that but, amongst, but among you there must not even be a hint of sexual immorality or any kind of impurity or of greed, because these are improper for God's holy people. Nor should there be any obscenity, foolish talk, or, or coarse choking, which are, not, which are out of place, but rather thanksgiving. Bottom line, that we just got to stay focused on the things of the Lord, stay focused on keep our minds, our thoughts, our, 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 our speech good and clean, pure. Bible says here, coarse joking. You know, many times we like to joke around and, 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 and sometimes we say things we shouldn't say. We have thoughts we shouldn't have thoughts about. Sometimes we have bitterness and anger that gets in our heart that comes out. But the Bible says, but, but, but to be thankful, to have to, um, Excuse me, but rather, th but, but rather Thanksgiving, just to be grateful in our hearts, to be grateful, be to have Thanksgiving, to just go to God and just be grateful for all that He's done for us. I know this is something that we all have to put in practice. So I want to say, praise God this morning that He is with us and for us. And then again, God's in the business of reconciliation. So when we miss the mark, we just come back to him and, and know that he's there to forgive us. The Bible says we confess our sins. Jesus Christ is just and righteous to forgive us our sins. So let's just walk in the ways of the power of the Spirit of the Lord and know that we don't have to walk in the ways of the world, don't have to walk in the ways of the old man, but we can just put on the, the mind of Christ and put on the Spirit of God and just walk in purity and holiness as God desires and wants us to. Eddie, I just want to pray a prayer for prayer blessing over each and every one of you as well as myself this day for i need to just be thankful and have a grateful heart for this day father i thank you for your word my lord that god indeed father we need to just put on the mind of christ mm -hmm. we need to just walk in the power of mind of the spirit of the lord today father because indeed father jesus christ is lord he is the messiah that god that jesus was our example on earth father as he says i only do that which i see the father do so, Father, many of us, Father, we 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 miss it on a regular basis, my Lord. And I just want to say, God, that you're a God of grace and mercy. Yes, Father, you have patience like the rest of us, and sometimes it's worth it. But, Father, we can just come to you and ask repentance, forgiveness, Father. And I know, Father, the word says that you throw our you throw our sins into feet in the sea of forgetfulness. So, Father, today I just thank you, Father. I'm here to encourage people, Father, to walk in the ways of the Lord, to be powerful and mighty in the things of the Spirit. And that to know, Father, that no matter how bad we miss it, Father, you're always there to bring us back, to re bring us back, my Lord. For you're always searching out for that one, Father, from the 99 that strays away. So I'm grateful for this, Father. Again, I speak encouragement today in Jesus' name, Father. Amen. Again, Ephesians chapter 5, verses 3 and 4 says this, But amongst you there must not even be a hint of sexual morality or any kind of impurity or greed, because these are improper for God's holy people. Nor should there be any obscenity, foolish talk, or coarse joking, which are out of place, but rather thanksgiving. Don't condemn yourself. We're not people who live in a condemnation. We all miss the mark. We all have issues. We all have things. I get mad and angry at work just like everybody else. There's times I just sit there and just want to kick myself because of the things that just go on. But just go to the Father. Ask forgiveness. He's going to restore you. He's 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 in the business of reconciliation. He's in the business of restoration. God has no way ever want to cast you, cast you out. Jesus says, anyone comes to me, I will no way cast him away. So just go to him. Know he's there to forgive you. Know he's there to get you back on track again because he truly wants a fellowship with you. Anywho, have a blessed day today. God's alive. He lives again the 8th of February, Tuesday, 2022. Be blessed. Know God lives. And know the guy in the camera, he prays for you. I so much want to see you walk in the ways of the Lord and the, and the potential that God has called you. Be blessed. Have a great day. Know that God is good and know I'm praying for you. You take care.